Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. Over the years, there's definitely been so many do's and don'ts when it comes to skincare, and I've personally prescribed to a lot of them, but things change, and as, as you grow and as you learn more about skin, you become more type A, and then you become less type A. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys five skincare rules that I no longer follow as I do my evening routine, and I'm going to be using some products that were sent to me from Charlotte Tilbury. These products were gifted to me, but this video is not sponsored. If this is your first time seeing my face, my my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel I post a lot of skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, let's get started. So I'm just going to go ahead and start by washing my hands, which is always the first step of your cleansing routine. Charlotte Tilbury is one of those people that I've followed since I was really little, like 13 year old me absolutely obsessed with Charlotte and so many other of the OG creators so I was so humbled when she reached out to me to send me these products to try. I've been using these products for about three weeks now I believe since I received them so it's also gonna be like mini reviews on them too. Okay so first I'm going in with this goddess cleansing ritual number one. This is the citrus oil radiance cleanse. Now this is an oil cleanser. In my opinion it's really similar to the one from Naturium, their oil cleanser, the one in the pink bottle and it's just like a gel that you apply on your skin and it just turns into an oil as you keep massaging it in. I really love how it smells and how it feels, the texture on the skin. I do find that this one is not something that you're going to be using when you're wearing like full coverage and makeup. I don't think it's strong enough to melt it, but if you're using lightweight makeup like I am today, like that clean look, that no makeup makeup look, it'll be totally fine for that, as well as a couple layers of sunscreen too. I almost forgot. Let me take off this necklace this the first thing that I no longer do is a morning cleanse honestly the only thing that you've done since going to bed at night is sleep so there's not really much dirt and bacteria on your skin or anything really clogging your pores that I feel need something like a strong heavy-duty morning cleanser or even just a gentle cleanser in general it's not something that you need on your face if you want to by all means go ahead but I just want to be as gentle with my skin as possible and to be honest just a warm rinse in the morning is all that you need or even just like a warm washcloth I'll take a warm washcloth run it under some water and put it on my face and just let the warmth clean my skin. As you can see you can use this one around your eyes the fragrance doesn't really irritate and it does a decent job of breaking down the product but I feel like the scent is a little bit strong for me like as you guys can see like I'm holding my breath but when I breathe in it's a lot it's not overpowering it's just not my favorite scent in the world And next up, we have the Goddess Cleansing Ritual number two. This is the Purifying Charcoal Cleanse, which is a really interesting gel cleanser as well. It doesn't really suds up like a lot of other things do, but it's more of like a moisturizing serum. I feel like these products are more designed to dry your skin types, people maybe with combination skin, um, not necessarily sensitive skin just because of how fragrant they are, but I haven't had any irritation from any of these products except for the oil cleanser that I don't really enjoy the scent of as much. It has a really nice gray color to it. It's absolutely gorgeous and it feels just like a beautiful cream. So next, I'm going in with my toner. This is the Wonder Black Rise Hyaluronic Toner from Haru Haru. And this one is so beautiful. I've talked about this one so many times before. I'm pretty sure you guys are sick of hearing about it. But it's super lightweight. It's a nice, like, bouncy texture. You put it on your skin. I usually use multiple layers of it. And it just makes your skin feel so hydrated. It's a perfect base for when you're going to be using retinol. Perfect base as well for when you're going to bed because it gives you such a nice hydrating finish to your skin. But the next skincare rule that I no longer follow is not to use an eye cream. Now, eye creams are pretty much overpriced moisturizers. I know this, you know this, and I definitely stand by that still. I don't think that they're a complete necessary part of your skincare routine, but 
There are instances where eye creams can be quite beneficial, especially if you're someone who has dark circle, fine lines around your eyes, eye bags, or puffiness. It may be beneficial to use a dedicated cream under your eyes, or also if you're going to be using something like a retina, which I'm currently using tetranoin, I don't want to put that around my eyes. So if my, let's say my moisturizer has retinol in it as well, maybe it's too strong for around the eye area and you don't want to put it there then I would consider using a separate moisturizer for around your eyes versus the rest of your face. The next products I'm going in with Aromatica Vitalizing Rosemary Concentrated Essence, and I'm just patting this on my skin. Beautiful lightweight texture. It makes your skin super light and just bouncy. I love the scent of this as well. It gives me that real aromatic experience. The serum that I'm going in with is the You to the People Triple Peptide Cactus Oasis Serum, which was sent to me as well. I've been using this so much recently. It just leaves your skin so beautiful and plumped. And mm, I just love how my skin looks when I put this on. Like it just looks so smooth and the skin texture just looks so beautiful. I'm gonna let that dry down just a little bit before applying my retinol. But this takes us into the third skincare rule that I no longer follow. And as you can tell by a lot of the products that I'm using today, they have a lot of fragrance in it. I've definitely been someone who has steered far, far, far from fragrance for so long, this, especially with acne prone skin. And my skin is a little bit sensitive as well. I try to stay away from anything that's gonna irritate me and fragrance is one of them. But personally, I haven't experienced much irritation from fragrance other than when it's like really in your face but at this point i'm no longer so like type a when it comes to fragrances if you enjoy it if you specifically don't have irritation from it you should be fine there's only a small amount of people who are actually super severely sensitive to fragrances and if it doesn't irritate you then that's totally fine and don't let other people shame you or bash you into not using fragrances if it's something that you like now be mindful because the term fragrance is put on there and often companies will use it to hide a lot of ingredients in your products and because they're patented under the labeling act they don't need to tell you what's inside of it so a lot of consumer fear i feel like is where all of that comes from myself included that's where my fear came from just not knowing what's in my products but Listen, it, it, you don't have to be so analytical about your skincare because it takes a lot of the fun out of it. It takes a lot of the enjoyment out of it. And as long as you're enjoying it, it's not harming you. I don't think there's a problem with it. Now that that's kind of soaked in a little bit more, I'm going to be applying my Retinol. This is my Retin-A Micro Tetranoin Gel 0.0 for you guys know that I got this from Felix. I've been using this for a while now. I did get a second backup so I can use it and you want to make sure that you're applying this while your skin is dry, which is why I let that kind of soak down before using this now. But I'm just going to take a pump of this, just a bead on my finger, and I'm going to be applying this all over my skin. So just tap, tap 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 and on my chin as well and just rub that in when it comes to retinol or tetranoin or anything along those lines that's really all that you need the fourth rule that i no longer follow is using vitamin c honestly i feel like vitamin c has just been shoved down everyone's throats when it comes to skincare ingredients and it is such a great ingredient for the skin but it can be a lot um for a lot of people. And many people have found irritation to using vitamin C. Sometimes when my skin is really breaking out from acne, using vitamin C can sometimes make it a bit worse. So you don't have to use a vitamin C serum. It is beneficial, but there are other things that you can use instead. Namely, you can use a niacinamide that will still brighten your skin. It will still help prevent darkness and, and so many other benefits a niacinamide gives. You can use transaminic acid, which is really great as well for melasma, those types of um, pigmentation. You can use alpha arbutin. You can use azelaic acid. There's so many different options out there. Kojic acid is another one. You don't have to use vitamin C if your skin doesn't tolerate it. And a lot of the other ingredients, ingredients, they play well with others, whereas vitamin C generally doesn't. I'm going to take a little bit of this eye cream. This is the Magic Eye Rescue Eye Cream to help brighten and reduce the appearance of wrinkles. So I'm going to put this 
Oh Jesus, I'm cursing myself. So I'm gonna put this on my ring finger, rub it around a little bit to get it evenly on both fingers and dab this under the eyes and around the mouth and between the brows. Now, this is the reason why. Your eye cream is supposed to be, you know, helping moisturize these areas that give you fine lines. Now, you generally do get fine lines around your smile lines as well as on your forehead. So just bring your eye cream there as well. And that is the way that I use them. For my moisturizer, I'm going in with Charlotte's Magic Cream. This is an instant turnaround moisturizer. This one is so buttery and thick. I have absolutely fallen in love with this moisturizer. The only other moisturizer that I've used that is similar is the one from Naturium, the Plant Squalane, I believe it's called. I don't actually remember the name. I will put it on the screen here. But that one, I completely, Plant Ceramide, sorry. Plant Ceramide Moisturizer. Absolutely love this and this is this is a product that reminds me of it. Feels like such a beautiful whipped butter and it leaves your skin feeling so moisturized. I actually use this both in the morning and the evening, but I feel like it's super beautiful for the evening because it just keeps all the moisture in your skin. And this is what has really helped in terms of the dryness that I'm experiencing because of the retinol. I do have a little bit of dryness around my mouth and a little bit of peeling around my nose. And so this has been helpful very very helpful hands down this is like my favorite product from the products that she sent to me i am in love with this moisturizer we're on to the last product and our last rule so the product that i'm using is charlotte tilbury's midnight cream this is the beauty sleep in a cream elixir now if you want to slug your skin this is how you slug in style Vaseline is amazing and I definitely still use it, but this one I have found gives just such a beautiful glide on your skin. It makes it feel so glowy. It puts that beautiful balm on your skin and stops you from getting any sort of dryness or peeling. The texture is amazing as well, whereas the texture of Vaseline is not the favorite for everyone. I really do love this for slugging in style. You can use it all over if you really find you need it, or you can even just put it on specific areas that your skin needs to. The last skincare rule that I no longer follow is strictly using retinol at night. Now, this skincare rule has become a rule because, well, it just makes sense. When you are sleeping, your skin is rebuilding. Your skin cells are rejuvenating, they are turning over, they are becoming new again. And so the best thing to do is use skincare products that will help you along that process. Also, there has been a lot of concerns regarding whether your skin becomes more sensitive in the light because of using the retinol antioxidants in general. But truly speaking, the retinol doesn't really make your skin that much more sensitive to sunlight. And as long as you're using a really good SPF, 50 SPF, you should be totally fine. Now, for a while, I was actually using my retinol in the morning because at night I was using the Dr. V pigmentation kit and a lot of people were commenting on that, but no, it is totally fine. If your skincare routine, for whatever reason, needs you to move around your products, feel free to do so. Just make sure you're protecting your skin. But it is totally fine to use retinol in the morning. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and let me know what are the skincare rules that you no longer follow. I would love to hear your thoughts. As always, click over here to see some of my previous videos. Remember to stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in the next video. Bye!